Hello everyone, Tac1421 here. Welcome back to a, another Pokemon TCG Online gameplay commentary. Today I have a very fun little deck that has emerged thanks to the new Roaring Skies X and Y expansion set, whatever you want to call it, the new set out there, which is Roaring Skies. Had some pretty cool, unique cards. The, de the best card from the set is definitely Shaman EX, in my opinion. And it's probably going to be one of the most broken cards in the format for the next you know few formats or so. Uh, so get yourself uh, some Shaman EXs if you're going to play competitively. You can see my opponent has some Shaman EXs, as well as a lot of other cards from the Roaring Skies expansion set. Uh, but one of my favorite cards from the Roaring Skies expansion set is Shaninja. Now, Sheninja is a Stage 1 Pokemon, and there's been a lot of unique Sheninja cards throughout the years. In, in black and white, they, in one of their expansion sets, they had a Sheninja that did not give up any prizes once you knocked it out. So I think it only had 30 HP. I think it was a Psychic Pokemon, and it essentially uh, you, it just didn't dish out any prizes. So that was pretty cool. I believe for one Psychic Energy, you can put three damage counters on any Pokemon you wanted to, something like that. So it was a pretty cool little unique card. It didn't see a whole lot of play at all, but it was still pretty fun to use. Uh, kind of cool card to collect and in the trading card um on, you know on the online not the train card game but on the online like video game shininja has always been pretty cool just because it always has one hp has that wonder guard ability pretty cool pokemon i really like shininja yeah, just cool artwork in general and just kind of the whole concept of shininja and ninjask and nankata and all those pokemon they're the three pokemon there um, i apologize if you hear my cat in the background Nothing I can do about that. He is just scratching his nails on a scratch post. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, Sheninja and Mew are going to be a cool, nifty little uh, duo in this little deck. Now, Mew EX is very common. It was in, I'm not really sure which black and white set, but it was reprinted in Legendary Treasures. Um, and it's seen a good amount of play over the years because it's a, a cool little card. Its ability allows you to use any Pokemon's attack on the field as long as you have the required energy for it. So we are going to be trying to use Sheninja's attack. Now Sheninja has two different attacks. We're going to put him into play here in a second. And his first attack is kind of garbage, Curse Rain. Put one damage counter on any Pokemon that you'd like. Actually, you put it on every single Pokemon, right? Yes, okay. Put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon, and then you switch that Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So it's not very good. You, you essentially only want to use that if you're maybe you're poisoned, you're about to die, so you can switch out of the active, or you can use it to get a, a finishing knockout on something if you really wanted to. Um, but the, the second attack is really uh, where you want to go with this Pokemon. So that is Hopeless Scream. Hopeless Scream for a colorless energy does 50 times the amount of damage counters on that specific Pokemon. So you see how this works with Mew EX. Sheninja unfortunately only has 30 HP, so it kind of maxes out at 100 damage. If you add a Muscle Band, that's 120. If you have a Bangle on there, that's 130. Regardless, you're not really going to use Sheninja to attack. It's just kind of you need to put it down somewhere on your bench so that Mew can use it for its for itself. Uh, and you can see the synergy with Mew EX because Mew EX has that 120 HP. You can put more damage counters on Mew EX. He can take more damage and essentially dish out more damage than Sheninja can. And we use cards like uh, Frozen City, which Frozen City is a pretty cool card from one of the Plasma sets. I forget which one. I think it was Plasma Freeze. And what, what that card allows you to do, it's a stadium card. Whenever you attach an energy card to a Pokemon, this is you or your opponent. If they're not a Plasma Pokemon, you put two damage counters on that Pokemon. That's whenever you attach an energy from your hand. So you can see there, we attach a Psychic Energy to Sheninja, and then he takes uh, two damage counters, and then we do 100 damage to uh, the Rayquaza, which we eventually we finally took out. I think it was a Mega Rayquaza out there. It was doing a lot of damage to us. And then Shaman is going to unfortunately knock us out. So we're down four prizes to one, um, but it's, it's okay. We do have um, the Versus Seeker. I have a way of getting Sheninja back. And we can dish out a good amount of damage here if we get the right amount of cards. So I'm going to put Sheninja down, and I'm going to laser. So 
you know, might as well put him to sleep. Hopefully he stays asleep. And then we can start dishing out some damage. We also play Rainbow Energy in this deck. Rainbow Energy always works pretty well with Mew EX in general. Um, but Rainbow Energy allows us to put one extra damage counter on to Mew EX because whenever you put Rainbow Energy onto a Pokemon, it does 10 more damage to that Pokemon. And... Uh, then you can use it as any damage as you like. Uh, luckily enough, the Rayquaza stays asleep, which is huge in our kind of comeback. Uh, but getting back to Shininja, you don't really want to use Shininja to attack, but it can take out some pretty effective uh, Pokemon, some pretty common Pokemon in kind of the metagame nowadays. If you think about a lot of Pokemon that are weak to grass, such as uh, Groundon EX is weak to grass, and you only really need to put the that one, uh, the, you know, you have two damage counters on to Shininja, and you're, wait, you're one-shotting a uh, Groundon EX. You can also uh, one-shot a uh, Seismitoad EX, which is extremely common. Now, it's seen a little bit of dip in play just because um, of the... the trump card being banned so it's it's seen a little bit less play but it's still a pretty common card and to be able to one shot it well, with Shininja is, is pretty cool so there are some cards you can one shot especially if you are trying to get the final blow on something um, there's also a lot of EX Pokemon uh, that only have 120 HP or so so if you stick on a muscle band on there or sometimes what will happen is uh, The frozen city will actually work in your favor as well and they'll put an energy down on their Pokemon and You could get the knockout that way because if they only have 120 HP and they put an energy on that Pokemon and frozen cities out That means they only have hundred left and you can actually get the knockout with Shininja so that ends up working in your favor a little bit. So uh, Frozen City is definitely a great stadium for this deck. I definitely recommend it. It kind of uh, brings everything kind of going. Um, sometimes you're not going to be able to take 120 damage with Mew. Uh, most of the time you're actually going to get one shot. So you you know you want to have Frozen City out there. You want to get those those Rainbow Energy on there um, so you can dish out the appropriate amount of damage. Remember the most Pokemon, most EX Pokemon have 170 or 180 HP. So so if you do have Pokemon that are 170 HP out there, you can put the three damage counters onto the Mew using the Rainbow Energy and the Frozen City and get the one-shot knockouts if you have a Muscle Band. So we are coming back into this game. You saw there we did a lot of damage to the Mega Rayquaza and it doesn't look like he has much going for him. He doesn't have any energy on any of his Pokemon. He has the Shamans kind of sitting out in the open. If I can get a... Um, uh, Lysander out there to catch her one of them up, bring them into the active. I can dish out the appropriate amount of damage I need to get the knockout. So we'll kind of see where this goes. We'll see what my opponent can do here. It doesn't look like a whole lot. He is going to get the Mega Rayquaza out though, it looks like. Or maybe he's just, he actually just used a, a Max Revive, which you don't see very often nowadays. But uh, we are going to put the Rainbow Energy on there and then we are going to attack with Hopeless Scream for the knockout so with for 450 damage. So uh, try Shininja and Mew EX for yourself. Um, I, I run a 3-3 Shininja line, and a, actually I run a 4-3 Shininja line, and then I also run a Mew EX. Uh, I run three of them. So as well as you definitely need that Mr. Mime. Uh, that's a very, very important card in the deck. And I, I also run a, a Verizian EX. We are running Grass Energies in the deck, so I uh, might as well. Uh, just so you don't take any poison damage or anything like that. Um, so I do hope you guys enjoyed. That was a quick little game for everyone. Actually, it wasn't too quick. It ended up being about nine minutes or so. Uh, but we do get the win there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see everyone next time. Peace.